on the positive front, uh, permaculture ideas uh, can really, really help improve the state of the world and the crisis that we're in, like the stuff that's already happened, the, the growth of community gardens and farmers markets, which has always been a big part of the permaculture push, I think, all about producing food locally and, and uh, selling it locally, eating in season, all those sorts of things are kind of fundamental and will help the planet along with ethical investment and investing in good companies, good businesses, the whole community building uh, aspect of permaculture. I just think um, they're going to be great and as much of that that can get out there um, the better. I think permaculture has always been pretty on the ed cutting edge and radical um, or there have always been an element of that in the permaculture movement anyway so pushing forward to take up new ideas so I think that's all going to really help. On the negative side I'm actually quite pessimistic about the state of the the world and and I, I, I think these permaculture ideas might help us slow down the damage but my view at the moment in 2010 is that we haven't got a hope. <laughs> that I feel like um, a decade ago we were told that we had to slow down um, the greenhouse gas emissions um, um, if we were going to tackle climate change and the worst effects of that. Um, Ten years on we're accelerating. You know, we're already hit damaging levels and I can't see with the growth of China and India wanting all the things that we've been, that the Western world has taken for granted, that we can slow, we can actually slow them down. Um, I just don't see it happening, unfortunately. If we want to make the significant change that we need to make to mitigate the worst of climate change and uh, help this world and make it as good as possible for our kids, then I think that we need to go on to a war footing almost, not a destructive war footing, but like um, David Suzuki and Tim Flannery and others have taken up and say, we, you know, that governments and businesses need to get radical and start putting forward immediate plans. They need, like the UK government has just introduced a um, uh, food policy where they're going to give people la any unused land that they can find around the place that they're going to give to the, to the people of the UK um, to grow food as in as they did during the war where they actually Second World War whatever they actually took trained people and sent them around uh, to the countryside, to the cities and towns and ran workshops and told people how to grow food if they didn't already know. That sort of thing is going to be fundamental. They need to stop destructive um, businesses. They need to have everybody going, uh, running their houses and businesses on green energy. You know, they need, they need to um, have water tank, you know, why in South Australia or in any any part of Australia, does every household not have a water tank, you know, to make sure that they're resilient in the face of climate change. All these things are fundamental and they need to happen really fast. You can't just do it with individual action. I think we've been, um, there's a activist called Derek Jensen who's quite controversial but I think he's quite correct we've been sold a bit of a story about how every little bit that we do matters and you know it's up to individual action and if individuals do the right thing then everything will change I don't believe that I think that's just part of it I think it needs individual action government action and it needs corporate action to make things change and as I said <coughs> greed unfortunately seems to rule so much of the free market economy that it's very hard to fight for us to fight against that when it comes to making sure that the coal industry or the oil industry or the car industry actually changes the way they do things. But they're not 
they're not immune. Uh, the car industry, uh, car industry, for instance, in the US collapsed, and I'm glad to see that the Hummer is no longer. And uh, so, you know, there is some light there, but at the moment we're not getting that concerted, um, forceful action and direction that we need to overcome the problems.